Hello, I'm uh, Salem Mayor Chuck Bennett. Uh, Wanda, I took off my mask, but I want to remind you to be wearing masks and be aware of the changing rules regarding masks that seem to be changing daily. I I'm really glad to be here to provide you with news and information about what's happening at the city of Salem. Uh, this week's good news is that the groundwork started last week on the Jerry Frank Salem Rotary Amphitheater at Riverfront Park. The project is part of the improvements to the park as part of the city's City of Salem Riverfront Park Master Plan. Some impact to the park is unavoidable and they're limiting construction to Monday through Thursday so residents can enjoy weekend activities. And speaking of future projects, my guest this week is Eunice Kim of the city's Community Development Department. She's going to talk to us about the Salem Area Comprehensive Plan, just what is the Salem Comprehensive Plan, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking with Eunice about where we're headed with this. Well, Eunice, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, the public, I think, will be really intrigued by the project you're working on the Our Salem Project, which is, as we've always called it, sort of the Salem Comprehensive Plan. Uh, could you talk to them about what this means to Salem and uh, kind of what the process looks like right now? Sure, yeah, I'm thrilled to be here. Um, so the Our Salem Project is really an opportunity for the city to shape how we grow and develop in the future. We've seen a lot of development in recent years and the community has really wondered, where are we going, what does this mean? And so the update to the comprehensive plan really is our opportunity to say, these are, pri these are our priorities for growth. This is where we want to see different types of housing or different types of businesses. This is what's important in terms of our transportation system, our natural resources. So it's really the overarching framework um, that will guide how we grow and develop in the future. It's a great opportunity for the community. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, actually was a reporter when I believe the last time the comprehensive, well, when the comprehensive plan was originally written, mm -hmm. How long have we had this comprehensive plan that created this city? Yeah, we, we first had our comprehensive plan in the 70s and we've done piecemeal updates over the years, but our big effort to kind of do a huge uh, update hasn't happened in decades. So a lot of things are, you know, a little bit yeah. maybe outdated. We don't know if the values that are in the comprehensive plan reflect the community today. So it's really our opportunity to kind of refresh it. I live in Northeast Salem and a lot of my neighbors uh, are always interested in small community shopping areas right. and things. It'll often, and I'll describe it, it's got a coffee shop, a dry cleaner, and maybe a little food sales area. Is this where that gets discussed? Is that what this is? Absolutely, that's one of the big ideas that we've heard from the community. Um, a lot of folks want to have that kind of small little village of what we're calling a neighborhood hub. We don't really have a lot of those in Salem, and so this is our opportunity to say, what does that look like? Where do they go? And how can really people benefit from that? Folks have been talking about wanting to be able to walk to their daily needs, yeah. not always having to go to Lancaster or commercial or downtown. Um, and so this is our opportunity to shape what that looks like. Well, one of the other things people talk to me about, and I'm sure they're talking to you about, <laughs> is there's too much traffic, mm -hmm. there's not enough places to park, mm -hmm. I can't feel safe riding my bikes on our streets mm -hmm. and I'm sometimes scared to cross some of these major streets as a pedestrian. How big a factor is all of that in your planning process? It's been pretty big in terms of the feedback we've gotten so far, particularly around pedestrian safety um, and making sure people can walk around, same as bike around. We've definitely heard concerns around congestion. And so this is our opportunity to look at all of those different pieces, how it fits together, right. how the land uses works with the transportation. Um, so yeah, we've definitely heard that and we're working on it. So I'm sure the one question people always have is, uh, how do I get involved? How do I do this? I mean, yeah. do, I, do I call you? Do I write you? Do I come to a meeting? How's this work? Yeah, well, our outreach has looked a lot different since um, this pandemic has all happened. Um, but fortunately, we have been still able to engage the community. Um, we always have a survey or two up on our website. But um, more than that, we've been meeting virtually with a lot of different organizations, whether it's a business organization, neighborhood associations. Um, we've done Facebook Live events. We've met with communities of color. And so um, really the way to connect so far has been really that um, not online, basically. Um, we are really interested in continuing that outreach. And so if folks are having meetings, even if it's not an official organization, we are happy to attend virtually. So my uh, neighborhood decides yeah. they'd like to, and I don't mean my neighborhood group, just my yeah. neighborhood yeah. would like to talk to you. Yeah. 
Could I call you up and say, Absolutely. you know, set something up with me? Yes, I get calls, I get emails. Um, I'm able to set up meetings virtually on my own, so if people don't have that technology, we can do that as well. Fantastic. Well, Eunice, I really want to thank you for being here with me this morning. And uh, everybody, please mask up. Uh, we're going to try to keep Salem open. So thank you very much.